Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Wait, aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Well, I guess I'm going to have to eat them all now. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Okay, let me try to eat some sweet food right now. Oh my gosh, it's true. It made me fall right away. But why is my family taking so long to finish their food? I've been looking at you from my bedroom window. Why have you been standing outside for so long? I'm not allowed to go inside because my family is eating and the food could get moldy. But don't you think it's suspicious how long they've taken? Yeah, right. It's been five hours. Doesn't your family leave a spare key under the rug? Oh yeah, right. I'll just open the door. I'm home! Oh my gosh, how come they all fainted? Why are you just staring at them? Hurry up, let's take them to the hospital. No, it's useless. Amara, your family's lives are at stake. <sighs> it's all my fault. I thought Amara could only eat plain food. Not anymore. I can eat whatever I like. Hi, miss. I'd like to buy everything on the menu. But I thought you could only eat plain food. Not anymore. I can eat whatever I like. So, how much is the total? 300 pounds. Can you pay for it? Of course. I can just use my mum's card. Everything in the canteen is sold out. If she bought everything, then what are we going to oh, eat? Oh, you guys can just eat plain food. That's if they have any. I'm so happy I can finally eat sweets. Where were you? I've been looking for you all day. What's wrong? Your family hasn't been doing too good at the hospital. The doctors can't help them, only you One can. One sec, let me finish my food. I'm still hungry. Why am I not getting full? I've eaten so much today. Maybe because you've been eating sweets. But that doesn't make any sense. I ate the gummies that old lady gave me. Hey, those gummies you gave me aren't working. That's because you didn't eat them in front of your family like I told what you to. What am I going to do now? Go to your teacher. I've already given him some food that you can eat to save your family. Sir! Where were you? I've been looking for you. Do you have the food the old lady gave you? Yes, it's right here. Hurry up and eat it. This chocolate tastes like... Switch bodies with mom or boyfriend? I choose boyfriend. Wait, but if I'm going to be in his body, does that mean he's going to be in my body? Morning, honey. Do you want to come with me to grandma's house after school? I can't today, mom. I'm going to be... I didn't even finish my sentence and I've already switched bodies. I wonder how long I'm going to be in this body for. Anyway, it's my first day. I can't mess this up. Jake, break up with Amara and be my boyfriend. Lucy, aren't you Amara's best friend? Yes, but I'm only friends with her to get closer to you. And besides, you guys aren't married yet. Nah, I'm good. I'm not going to break up with Amara. I love her. And besides, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. I mean, she doesn't want to be friends with you anymore. Turns out, there's a lot of girls who have a crush on my boyfriend. I'm going to be rejecting girls all day. Jake, Lucy likes you so much. Let her. I've got Amara. But you can date her too. What kind of friends does he have? I can't believe Lucy. She's fake. Jake, Amara's looking for you. Not now. I'm busy. You know she's dating Lucas, right? She's what? Not now. I'm busy. Amara's dating Lucas now. He what? Hey, Jake, I heard you're looking for me. Whoa, is that how people see me? I actually look hot. Yeah, whatever. I heard you're dating Lucas. Uh, I've been wanting to tell you. So, you like boys now? No, I like boys and girls. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I was scared of your reaction. You can like whoever you want, but you can't date Lucas in my body. Um, I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. We have to switch bodies first. I'm not allowing you to date him in my body. Well, for now I'm going to do it because we still haven't changed bodies yet. He's so annoying. How dare he date Lucas in my body without my permission? Jake, I bought two tickets for me and you to go to a football game. Leave me alone, Lucy. But please, I've already paid. Alright, cool, whatever. Hey, I heard you're going on a date with Lucy. It's not a date. We're just watching a football game. Why are you like this? Amara clearly moved on with Lucas. They're already planning the wedding. The what? Jake, what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm not going to let you get away with this. I have to find a way to switch bodies again. Want to switch bodies? Call this number. Hello, I need your help. I have to switch back to my body before it's too late. Okay, I'll send you the address now. Hello, am I in the right place? Yes, indeed you are. So, what do I have to do to switch back to my body? Hey, you have to say this word. All I have to say is switch. I'm finally back in my body. 
I hate my life. Lucy, what's wrong? Jake just cancelled our date. He's in love with Lucas. Don't worry, I'll go with you. Wait, really? Yeah, why not? Only eat vegetables or only eat meat? Mom, I don't like vegetables. I know, honey. Just pick meat. Mom, I'm going to school. Okay, don't forget your lunch. Does it contain meat? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. Oh, it looks like you all chose to eat meat. Of course, we hate vegetables. Yeah, they're disgusting. I also hate vegetables. I'm so happy that I'm not the only one who chose to eat meat. Oh no, all students in the school chose to eat meat. Everyone? Yes. Let's go get food from the canteen. You didn't know? The canteen is closed now because the owner is vegetarian and she refuses to sell meat. Well, it's a good thing I brought packed lunch with me. Hey, why do you look so scared? From now on, I don't want to eat any more meat. You don't want to eat any more meat? Why? It's much better than vegetables. You still haven't heard the news, have you? No, what are you talking about? I'd rather not say. I'm so hungry. I finished my packed lunch like two hours ago. Where can I get any more meat? My friends aren't even eating any more meat. Aren't they hungry? Did you say you wanted some meat? Yes. Well, it's your lucky day. I'm selling some. How much do you want? I want everything. Okay, here you go. Thanks so much. <coughs> Why are you all throwing up? This meat is really delicious. Try it. I don't want to. Why are you acting like that? Do you really not like meat? We liked it before we heard the news. What are you guys talking about? You've made a big mistake. What mistake? You've chosen to only eat meat, right? Yes, I chose to only eat meat. So, you still don't know? No, what? So, they found out that the meat they're selling is... It's actually human flesh. Mom, can I try a cigarette? Amara, you live under my roof. I can't let you smoke. What are people going to think of me? All right, Mom, relax. Well, of course I'm going to pick the cigarette. Now, I can try it without her knowing. Hey, did you know there's going to be a sweep in school today? A sweep? Why do you look nervous? Are you carrying anything for me? No, <laughs> of course not. I'll just hide it in the toilet. Morning, Amara. Can I check your bag, please? Okay, here. You can take it back. Oh, shoot. I forgot the cigarette in the toilet. Hey, Amara, didn't you hear the announcement today? We're all going to have to gather in the hall. No, why do we all have to gather there? Apparently, they found a forbidden item in the school toilet. Do you know what the thing they found is? Apparently, it's cigarettes. It's probably one of them dodgy boys. Should we go to the hall together? Um, yeah. You have to get class A. It will make our family very valuable. Okay, I'm going to check now. Three, two, one. Wow, I got class C, mom. Oh, no, that's not good. What's wrong? Hurry up, I have to fake your class before you embarrass our family. Okay, mom. Hopefully, no one will know, and it will look like you got class A. What class are you in, Emily? I'm in class C. It's true that poor people like us are never appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm in class A. Huh? How come? I don't know. I was also surprised this morning. Yeah, if that's the case, we'll be in separate classes. Emily said you got class A. Yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you all. Where does your parents work? Uh, oh my gosh, my parents don't own a company. What the heck, Jake? Maybe she doesn't want to say it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to say. Your parents must be very important. Okay, class, this is our first lesson. Please take out your cell phone. Cell phone? I only brought a paper and a pen. That can't be right. Everyone got cell phones when they received the letter A. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Um, mine broke. It's okay, sir. I can share mine with Amara. Okay, if you don't mind. You're lucky I saved you. Yes, thank you so much. Let's go to the canteen. I'm really hungry. Why are you going to the canteen? Our food is delivered to the school by a helicopter. A helicopter? And there it is. The food's already here. Mom? Hey, honey. I came to bring you some food. I'm so scared. If I get caught, they'll put me in prison. Calm down. Everything is safe and under control. You just have to go with the flow. Okay, if you say so. Class A, please make your way to the dining room. I have to go, Mom. I was looking for your food, but your name wasn't there. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I think the teacher's assumptions were true. What assumption? You're not really at class A, are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are you so scared? Now that you've finished eating, we're going to bring in all your parents, so please be nice to everyone. Why are you bringing our parents, sir? So everyone can get to know each other better. 
I can't wait to meet your parents tomorrow. Me too. They must be really important. Everyone's parents are here except Amara's. Where are your parents? Um, maybe they're busy. You look suspicious. I want you to erase the letter on your neck. But my class is still loading. What if I remove it and nothing shows? Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Honey, wait! <sighs> huh? My mum's here. That means I don't need to remove my class mark, right? Yes, you're really lucky she showed up. Your mum is so cool. Please introduce us. Yes, I've never met or seen your mum before. Later, okay? I want to talk to my mum first. Mum, why is my class loading? That's because you were told to remove your letter by the teacher. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I don't get a class. Don't worry, honey. All you have to do is fake a class again. What? Turns out I've went up a class. I'm in class B now. You still need to fake it so you don't embarrass our family. Amara, what are you doing in the toilet? You're taking so um, long. Um, my stomach hurts. By the way, did you get your dress for tonight? Yeah. No, you haven't. You need to go get it quickly. It's only for class A people. I'm in class A. Do you have any clothes for me? Your name is Amara. Wait a minute. Let me find it. I know it's not going to be there. Psst. Who's calling me? Over here. Mom? Here's your dress. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. But how did you get this? Isn't it expensive? Oh, I just borrowed it off a neighbor. Okay, every girl has to be paired with a guy. Um, all of us? Yes, all those who got class A has a partner. My partner's late. Who says I'm late? Who told you to come here? If they find out we're both not in class A, we'll be finished on the spot. I'm just following what your mom told me. My mom? Yes, she paid me three million to come. Three million? Weird, right? I thought you guys were poor. I'm pretty sure you're not in class A. I am, and besides, you don't have any proof, sir. I'll continue to push you until you confess. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. Okay, it's time to go home. You'll all be picked up with sports cars by your parents. What sport car do um, you have, Amara? I don't know, because we have too many sport cars at home. Whoa, I think I only have a Ferrari. I have a Lamborghini. I definitely don't have a sport car. Why am I even waiting here to get picked up? Let me just leave. Get in the car, honey. Mom, aren't we poor? How do you have that car? Um, maybe it's time for me to tell you a story. What story? Actually, your dad is... Wait, is my dad still alive? Yes, I lied to you because I really hate him. Why do you look so tired? Because I am tired. I've been trying to fit in with class A for the whole day. Do you even realize how much hard work I've had to put in? Come on, honey. It's all worth it at the end. Everyone will know how valuable our family is. Okay, mom. Hey, Amara. How are you? I'm fine. It looks like you're really happy, huh? Yes, I'm so happy because I made a new friend in class C. That should have been my class. But you must be really happy in class A, right? Yeah, of course. So happy. Anyway, I have to go now because class is about to start. All students in class A has a special talent. Please tell us your talent. My talent is singing. I've won so many international competitions. Do I even have a talent? My talent is swimming. Next week, I'm going to America for a swimming competition. What's um, your talent, Amara? It's acting. I've been in so many TV shows and movies. Okay, class, we're going to be doing yoga. Yoga? Everyone in class knows that we do yoga. Why don't you? No, I do. I just... Thought I heard something else. Yes, our bodies are really flexible. My body's stiff as a rock. It's your turn, Amara. Please put your feet behind your back. Wait, sir, was that the fire alarm? Thank you, Mom. You saved me again. I didn't do anything. I just came in to bring you a cell phone. Huh? You weren't responsible for the fire alarm? Nope. Okay, class, we'll be doing a test. Who doesn't have a cell phone? Why is everyone watching me? Do you not have one? No, we forgot ours at home. You're so lucky. I know you took that cell phone from school. You're stealing. <sighs> no, you can see for yourself. If I had stolen it, it would have had the school symbol, which it doesn't. I've had enough of you, young lady. Hey, you, don't speak to my daughter like that. Huh? Daughter? You're the principal's daughter? Yes, she is, and you're fired. Wait, you're my dad? Your class is S. This must be the lowest class, right? No, class S is much higher than class A. That means you're the golden child. Golden child? What does that mean? Class S is only rewarded to the smartest person in school. And that's you. You should be very proud. Together. We've been dating for years and you secretly hate me? Why? Because of your face. You look like my ex. 
I look like your ex. If that's what you thought from the start, then why did you ask me to be your girlfriend? You ate the hate apple, didn't you? What? How do you know? I know everything. Basically, if people's hatred level lows for a long time, it means they really hate you. You have to be careful around that person. Why do people around me hate me so much anyway? I don't hate you. If you ever have a problem, you can talk to me, okay? You don't seem to hate me. Because I love you. I want you to be my second wife. Second wife? Yes, do you want to be? Uh, I have to go, sir. My stomach hurts. Hey, loser. <sighs> you again. Why do you keep bullying me? Because it's fun. You don't hate me? Yes, I do. Why are you asking that? No, you can't lie to me. You don't hate me, do you? Well, to be honest, all this time I pretended to bully you. I just wanted to get your attention because I really like you. Do you want to be my uh, girlfriend? Thanks for liking me, but I can't date. My mom doesn't let me. I have to go. Bye. Amara, you know there's a really handsome student that joined us from America. From America? What's he doing here? He said he ran away from his family because they were fighting a lot. I feel sorry for him. Me too. Where's the new kid? Just a suggestion. Don't get close with the new kid. Why? We have to be nice to our new friend. You didn't know he's a mafia boss in America. Wait, really? Yes, that's why I'm telling you not to get close. Hello everyone, I'm the new student. Who wants to sit with your new classmate? I do. Okay, go sit next to her. Hi, nice to meet you. Your name is Amara, right? Wait, how comes he knows my name? We just met. Mom, should I choose fire or flowers? You have to choose fire. Don't ever touch the flowers, okay? Okay. Hey, what did you choose? I chose fire because it looks strong. Oh, um, I was told to choose fire too. Why doesn't anyone choose flowers? Is it just me? Why is our house so messy, mom? I'm stressed because your sister chose flowers. Where is she? I need to speak to her. Sorry. Did you guys hear? Apparently Jack got the highest grade in class. I know, right? I don't even know why she would break up. He got top grades? Yeah, you're stupid for letting him go. I heard you wanted to challenge me in the next exam. Yes, I'm gonna get higher grades than you. Okay, if I beat your grade, you have to do whatever I say for the whole Okay, day. deal. I can't lose. I have to win this challenge. I will win the challenge against Jack. Why isn't it working? Hey, Amara, the exam's starting now. Are you ready? Yeah. Know where someone was born or know why someone was born? I've always been curious where people were born. Guys, I just came back from France. My parents are so rich. They spoiled me so much. Are you really that rich? Of course I am. The whole school knows So this. how comes you were born on a farm? What? How did you know that? I'm not telling you. What the hell? Someone was born in a park? And under a bridge too? Looks like I really can see where people were born. So, Amara, you can see where people were born, right? So, all this time you were born in a palace? Yes, I really need your help. Will you help me? Help you with what? My little brother disappeared since birth. I need your help to find him. You have to find the people who were born in the palace like me. Okay, I'll help you. 
I've been looking through the whole school, but I can't find anyone born in the palace. Can't you find anyone? I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I wonder where I was born. Pretty candy or ugly candy? Which one should I choose? It's obvious. Choose the pretty candy. I don't want to have ugly kids. Okay, I want to choose the pretty candy so that all the boys will love me. Whoa, I look so beautiful. The pill worked. Who are you? Mom, someone broke into our house. How come you don't know your own sister? Amara, why is your face so pretty? I'm beautiful, right? I chose the pretty pill. But I didn't get that option. You didn't get it? Lucy, you're so ugly. I'm so disappointed in you. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Whoa, I can't believe it. My child is so beautiful. Well, it's all thanks to you because you told me to choose the pretty pill. I want to show you off to my neighbors so that they know that I have a beautiful daughter. Don't be ridiculous, Mom. I'm shy. Whoa, is that a new student? How come she's so beautiful? I can't believe it. My dream is coming true. I'm going to be the most popular girl in school. Why is your face so pretty and mine isn't? How come your face is so ugly? Look around. How comes everyone here is so ugly? Because we all got the ugly candy. Didn't you get it? No, I ate the pretty candy. Does that mean I'm the prettiest one in school? Why is there a whole crowd of people running? I just told everyone that you got the pretty candy. <sighs> Why would you tell them? I trusted you. Because I don't want you to be prettier than me. Give us the pretty candy. <laughs> Why are you all so obsessed with being beautiful anyway? Because if you're not pretty, then you're not appreciated. Attention, the school's holding a competition. The most beautiful person wins. Can I participate, sir? Don't let her. Her beauty is artificial. Yeah, she's fake. They're just jealous because I'm more beautiful than them. Shut up. If you want to register, please come to my room. Are you sure you want to join this competition? Yes, and I'm sure I'll win because I'm the only beautiful one in the school. But there's one more person who isn't ugly in our school. Huh? That's impossible. I'm the only one who got the pretty pill. She'll come soon. You can see her face for yourself. Hello, everyone. Why isn't your face ugly like the rest of the students? I didn't get a candy because I woke up late. By the way, do you have an extra candy? Yes, I got one. Here you go. Eat it now. She's so dumb. I'm so going to win this competition. Knowing people's age or knowing people's address? I choose knowing people's age because often people lie about how old they are. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Huh? 26 years old? Why did you lie and say you were 50? Because I'm embarrassed. I gave birth to you when I was only 12. 12? Does that mean you were still in school? Yes, but I got kicked out. Since you're still young, why don't you get any more kids? I really want a sister. Giving birth isn't that easy. What if we adopt someone? Adopt? Okay, I don't care as long as I get a sibling. Hey, bestie. Hey, Amara. 17 years old? How come you're 17 years old? We're still in first year of high school. Because I didn't go to school for two years, but please don't tell anyone. Calm down, I won't. Amara, this is your report card. Thanks, sir. Why am I grade so low? Because you're not smart. Raise my grades, otherwise I'll tell the principal that you're 70 years old and he'll kick you out because you're not allowed to work when you're 70, you should be retired. Okay, I'll raise your grades, but please don't tell the principal. That's more like it. You want to be my girlfriend? We're the same age. <laughs> you think you can lie to me? You're a few years older than me and I don't want to waste my time with someone like you. Bye. Hey mom, your new sister's here, why don't you go get to know her? You already adopted someone? Yes, she's in the living room. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, what's your name? My name's Olivia. Olivia? Yes, sis. Sis, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Why can't I see Olivia's age? I need to find out how old she is. Olivia, your room's right there. Let me help you with your bag. I wonder what she has in here. Huh? Since when did Olivia have dentures? I let you hold my bag, not go through it. This is yours? No, I got them from my orphanage.